Right, so trying a different approach today. I've zoomed right in to this bit here. But I'm not I'm wanting to show you exactly what part I'm working on. So I try to keep both those in frame. And um, because I've done some of his arm already, I'm going to cover that up. So um, you have to be kind of a bit careful here. So I'm going to just take this over nice and tightly. Like I showed Paula yesterday, actually. This is just what we're going to do when you've got bits over there that you don't want to touch. I'm just working on this bit here now. This bit here and maybe up here, um, just this bit here, and uh, maybe up, yeah, because that's in focus there. So I mustn't get carried away and go up here because you go off that because you won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to get a little bit more tape. sure that's nice and tight over there. That's it. It's not too bad. I'll let's put a bit more on the top there. Yeah, okay. So So we want to try and get these wispy bits in here. Uh, this is why I put this on here, because I, I really need to lean on this now. Uh, so you've got this little bit in the background there. Just put little bits of white in there. And then, see, I've, I've tried to put this little black bit in here. That's just there. And now I'm going to try and keep this in a, a nice straight line and then down. So it's kind of going across here, and then it's kind of going down, down and around. It's quite soft, this bit. Actually, it's quite fluffy looking. Just a little bit like that. And then it comes down like that, and across there like that, and a little bit down there. So just get the main, main bits in. So we've got some little... Lots of little hairs going across there. Go through the black bit there. And a nice one coming around there like that. And then little marks there. Little white bits in the top there. Doesn't have to be exact. Just soften it all off a bit to make it look a bit fluffier. Um, there's a little white bit there. Yes, this is quite dark here. It's not, not really bright white. There's a little white hair there. I'll go. Oh, it's all black in there. And these are kind of more grey blue in here. And they'll just have flecks of white over the top of them. So we'll do that now. I'll get the We'll get the blue, I think. I'm going to sharpen it up a little bit just very quickly. So we're going to be looking at this now. We're doing this just under here. This is this. So I'll, I'll darken it off down here a bit, so go over that. And then you've got little bits in the background here. So because this is going over black and bits of white in there, it's not going to really look blue. It's just going to look more subdued like it does here. And then we're going to put the white over this and that will give us the nice kind of bit of blue in there. That's 
that let's put the glue in there just flicking through that and then this bit here it, they are you know they are quite blue in there they're coming quite down there more subdued and we've got a line going across here like that already so we've got a nice one coming up there like that just through there and then we've got our blue on the edge here still see it there Such a light touch that. So we'll just put that nice blue whisker in there. And then some blue marks coming in through here. And nice and blue here. these little bits here it's quite black through here yeah that's about right I think so we've got the the kind of basic um, shading in there now we're going to put some bits of white on it I have sharpened up my pencils, see? It is quite it is quite sharp, but not super sharp. So very, very light touches now. See, it's extremely light. And it's kind of flicking up. Just really look at what's going on and then do your interpretation of it. You're not going to get it exact. Don't worry about that. You won't do that. Um, well, you might do it if you had a year to accomplish it. But uh, you've got a year to spend on a tiny little bit of a drawing. It's not going to happen. So it's just, when you accept that it's not going to happen, you can just go with it a bit and get into it a bit and enjoy it a bit more. Mm. You know, have a bit of fun with it. See the white flecks just there. Little flicky bits in there. I'm looking at where they they start there, but just down here. If they're a bit too strong, you can easily just knock these back after, just with your finger.
could see that the harder I pushed, the stronger those, thicker the lines come out. I really want them nice and fine. It's, it's hardly touching it really. A little bit of white flecks there. Then just tap where they start and it just softens it all up. You're not going to see where they're coming from then. Soften that up a bit. Just tap it, you're not rubbing it. really white that little tip there. Just looking at how that comes across there. It's slightly coming down there. Mine's, mine's going up. I just need to pay attention to that sort of thing. That's a bit close. That's too close. Just needs to be back here a bit. So we can go over that with a yellow. And then that's coming across like that. Nice strong. too hard here. I think we're going to give ourselves a treat and use a pastel stick here, a white one. So if you want to get one to try, um, we can look at the different types. See, I've, I've drawn the different types on here, but you can't see that now. So we'll have to do that later. See, I forget where we are and then I try and show you something you, you can't see. It's no good. I do. See, I'm looking at where these are coming from here. Coming from this little line of coming across here. Right, now we're going to get some black, and um, it's quite sharp, see, it's nice and sharp, if you can see that, well, not super sharp, and then I'm just going to go over these little black bits in the background here, um, you can emphasise some of these if you want to, but they're quite blurry, so you don't really need to go mad with this, just maybe some little black bits in there. You go through the white bits again and it makes them look nice and thin. Well, and then when you go over bits and you think, oh, I shouldn't have done that, just go back, redo it. That's the good thing about pastels, you can do that. The only trouble with that is you can easily look, make it look very overworked, and very. Um, contrived looking, it won't have that energy about it. So you've got to know when to stop and keep all your your pencil work very light. Just a little black mark in there. See, it's not exact but it's it's just the idea of it really, that's what you're going for. So we've got this bit here. We'll do a bit more white over there. Then we've got this, that's very black in there. This, and that's kind of going up here. So get that mark in, a bit more up there. Then here, some little black flecks here. Uh, I 
so and then there's a bit down here See, that, that broke the top of the pencil off because I was pressing too hard. Just trying to emphasise that one there. And if you kind of really, you know, pay attention to getting it nice and close, you can bring it out a bit. As with these here. Just the mixture of the black and the white will make it look a bit more hairy. directions not all going the same way so yeah it takes takes a bit of a bit more careful work here this is why I wanted to zoom in really and sharpen my black up again nice and sharp sharpen my white up a bit this is quite fine work compared to what we've been doing so far. is this this little bit here because it's quite nice like that so it's about here that's it and then these bits going up here two sections there and then that goes straight across there like that So 
está. Needs to be nice and thin that one. We go around it with black. this with whiskers just go next to those white hairs in black just emphasizes them a bit more makes it look a bit a bit more soft sharper I say you've got to be careful with this bit because it can easily look overdone and not nice. It won't look nice. It won't look nice and fresh looking. Now I'm just standing back now here, just having a look at how does this compare here. It needs to be lighter. I can see it needs to be lighter here, through here. And when you get up close and do close work like this, you need to stand back after. Make sure that it's not looking too um, contrived and you've got everything really where you need it. See this, this here is, is the wrong line again. Yeah, they've all got to be going over. And here, you can see there are just some white hairs going in the back here, which kind of got a bit lost. And that's what gives it that bit of uh, fullness in here. Don't go too mad at that bit in the back there, because it's, it's more subdued in the back. So. Okay. Right, so what I'd like to do now is put some whiskers in here, I think. Um, we've got all our background in. I think that's okay as it is. Yeah, it's, it's looking nice and fresh, not too contrived looking. So we'll try and get some whiskers in, I think. We'll, we'll go from here. That needs to be a little bit darker in there. Can you see? But I may be coming out of focus here, so I need to make sure now that I'll just... Um, 
first of all, I could see that this thing's doing here, that thing's doing there, and then we've got a little bit coming up here in between there, bits coming over there, little bits up here, just a bit lighter. we put some blue under here when we go over with the white it's not going to be crispy white because there are bits of blue under there which is what we want really we want to try and make that a little bit more blue and then when we go over the that bit there with the blue because there's white on there as well that will just it'll probably be quite good maybe a little bit of pink in there just there I want to get onto the whiskers I think because this is kind of in the right area now it's kind of in focus I should probably just carry on with this bit that's what happens I get overexcited I want to go for it um yeah see if I didn't have to do the camera now I would be I'd be doing the whiskers straight away Whatever you feel impelled to do, um, should do it. Because then it, your, your, your picture will look better if you do that. That's what I've noticed. Don't be try, trying to do anything that's too ordered, because it will look ordered when you've finished it. But of course I've got to try and um, make sure that you get all this. So I have to be a bit, a bit more disciplined here. Okay, just going to sharpen it up again. Got my sandpaper here. Just doing this on the sandpaper. Just my very very point. Big job like I showed in the other video. It's just little bits of pieces. Um, I want some blue and some pink. So get some blue coming through here. Let's see, there it is. more pink under there, this bit here. Um, I hope you can see that there. Um, I'll try and keep to this bit here. This is a bit pinky through here. Bring that colour in there a bit. Gives it a nice bit of interest as well. soften up any little white hairy bits they've got to come down there we'll just get these little bits of pink in here um, probably doesn't look pink to you but I can see it in my picture I can see it these little grey bits here have got a little bit of a pinkiness to them as well the more you look at it the more you can see these things and you should be seeing the difference this is making. Although you may not be able to see it in the picture. You'll see that it's, it's giving it a bit of life here. This is a little bit pink here. And this of course is pink in the background. So this can do, could take quite a time to do this bit. It's a bit of a, a bit of a fiddly bit, really. And we're gonna go um, Get this white in again. And these, we need some little bits coming around. Some of those are as whiskers.
measure. It's kind of on the end of his nose there. I was tempted to go up a bit too far there. Just there. Still got this long, long bit there, which gives it a little bit more of structure. And up here. And in here. Stop now and just make sure everything's okay. 